Hey y'all, welcome to Hatchet's Hooch. I'm Hatchet. This is Destiny, not Hooch. Uh, Destiny is a good friend. We've known for a good while, and she is not camera shy like some of these other folks. So she's gonna help me out today with our Southern Crown. Destiny, do you like whiskey? I do. Good. Um, I don't know a whole lot about Destiny's situation. I see her drinking fruity drinks and stuff. She's just a typical female. <laughs> but um, we're gonna drive some straight liquor today, and um. All right, so apparently this is the uh, Southern Crown. It's called um, Ultra Premium South Carolina Select Club Whiskey. You can only buy this in South Carolina. And um, so at my work, I had an engineer say he's from Greenville, South Carolina, and he said, ooh, do you uh, like the Southern Crown? And I said, I don't know what you're talking about. And he says, oh, they make a uh, South Carolina blend of whiskey. It's real comparable to Crown Royal. I said, I, I don't, I've never heard of it. So he brought me a bottle, and uh, my wife has tried some of it, and uh, I've tried some. It, it's really good. Uh, from When you go on the internet and you look it up, the only thing you're really going to find is like a lawsuit from Crown Royal trying to sue South Carolina Select Club. Uh, from what I've read, they also make a Texas version of this, and apparently Crown Royal says it's too similar to their uh, blended whiskey, and they want to sue these guys. I don't know how far the lawsuit has gone. But, I know that today we're here, we have a bottle of it, and we're going to try it. Okay. See, it's, um, so it's a uh, blend of whiskey. Of course, it's not made in Canada. It's not aged where Crown Royal does, but that's what happens. <laughs> What's it smell like? Uh, it just it smells a lot like uh, Crown. Yeah. Um, when, when I've tried it before, we, we've mixed it, and... Yeah, I mean, she's right. It smells a lot like Crown. It, it's got, a, it's not as deep a dark caramel color as Crown, but it is, uh, it's aged, so let's try it. It's kind of the color of apple juice. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's, it's a sweet Crown Royal smell. I mean, mm -hmm. there's not a whole lot of difference, so... It's that sweet blended whiskey. Uh, it's a little, little more heat than a Crown Royal would be. I don't know if that's from the aging difference or what, but it's, it's really good. Let's try it with some ice. Yeah, it has heat like right when it hits your tongue and in the aftertaste. Yeah, the uh, the aftertaste is where I got the heat. Um, ice and the water is going to bring the flavors out really good. So the smell kind of tastes. Tastes stay the same. I don't, yeah. I don't taste any difference. Oh yeah, there's that smooth Crown Royal. It's not quite as sweet, but it, it's it's there. The smoothness is there definitely. Um, taste a little bit of oak there with the caramel flavors and the butterscotch. I do too. Um, I don't taste any peppery. Like a bourbon's got some peppery back taste, but I don't taste any of that. It's really good. Um, but like I said, you can only buy it in South Carolina, which is kind of odd, but um, Texas has got its own version. I don't know. It might be the same stuff, just bottled with a different label, but it's really good. Uh, Destiny, you recommend this? I would if you um, enjoy Crown, then right. um, yeah, this is a good substitute. Now, the price from Crown Royal, it is a little bit cheaper, uh, which is probably the, the appeal to a lot of people to try it, but... Um, I think it's just as good. Uh, it has its own unique flavor. It's not aged in Canada, so you don't have the temperature change like we do down here in South Carolina. But it's very good. Uh, I recommend to try it. Um, you know, there's there's other substitutions like Canadian Club, but this is definitely worth trying. Yeah. All right, Destiny, let's drink it up, and thank you for joining us on Hatch's Hooch. Like and subscribe.